factors impact on health as we age. The usual suspects, lifestyle and genes, all play a part, but the exact role of these factors and many others is unknown. Excitingly, Australia has recently launched one of the largest cohort studies in the world to help to understand how people can stay healthy and independent as they age. The Sachs Institute is running the 45 and Up study, working in partnership with the Cancer Council of New South Wales, the National Heart Foundation, Beyond Blue, Uniting Care Ageing and the New South Wales Departments of Health and Human Services. We've recruited over 266,000 men and women in New South Wales into the study and cohort members are making a fantastic contribution to the future health of our community. The cohort represents over 10% of the New South Wales population aged 45 and over, providing a unique opportunity for researchers and policy makers. Let's meet some of the people involved. I mean, ageing worries me. I, I, I try, I suppose I'm slightly in denial. I, I try and keep doing things I've done since my you know, teens and 20s. I play football and swim and just keep well. I, I suppose something which I want to, well, the, physical effects I want to delay as much as possible. I don't know the word retirement at the moment. So why, why should I when I can still drive? I can still thread needles without glasses. The area where it will have the biggest impact, I think, will be in how we help people to age in maximum health. And I think that's probably what all of us want, that we will retain our faculties, we will retain our health, and that we will enjoy a long life and a very short period, we hope, of illness and disability before we die. This shows the 45 and up study participants mapped across the whole of New South Wales. And it's this diversity that will really let us answer questions using 45 and up study data that would not be possible with any other type of study. I became part of the study because I really believe that anything that can be done in research to relieve the problems of arthritis in future generations is of extreme importance. When I retired, I, I felt I'm missing the people in the markets. I was just felt down. We got this letter on the post saying, you know, we're doing a study, and uh, were we, we, did we want to be involved? And uh, yes, uh, I was a bit hesitant at first. Josie said, well, you know, you can't uh, um, do it. There are over 50 research projects currently underway in the 45 and up study and they range from detailed biomedical studies of cancer to studies of how our home and our environment affect our independence as we age. We know that smoking causes ageing of the skin and we know cancer is a disease of ageing so we're trying to put these two factors together and try and unpack them to see whether if we reduce smoking we can prevent some of the skin cancers that are occurring in Australia. So in this study we're hoping to see, to find the link between being overweight and obese and your risk of going to hospital and also once you're hospitalised your risk of perhaps having adverse outcomes. The eCouch study takes people in the community who've come into the 45 and up study who already have risk factors for heart disease and also have depressive symptoms. It then offers them two alternatives. One is one of the highly effective known treatments for depression on the internet, eCouch, or just a standard health information site. It is only possible to do those studies in enough people who have these common sets of problems by using a very effective community resource like the 45 and Up study. I, f I really feel that you've got to have a purpose for getting out of bed of a morning. I have, I get out of bed and I know what I'm going to do and I think that helps, I'm sure it helps. Uh, Vietnamese mint. Yeah. I was asked, what do I do? How much do I walk? What people do I meet? It got me motivated. I suppose I'm very mindful now to be a bit more careful about body maintenance. I've got a few sort of issues with arthritic uh, 
deterioration in my feet, so it's quite painful sometimes for me to play and to train and I'm waiting for medical science to catch up with fixing metatarsals. <laughs> <laughs>